So uh, we're about to build a home studio in 2019 and go. What's up audio friends, this is Jared with Audio Engine Productions and today I'm going to show you what you need to start building a home studio in 2019. The first thing that you need is a computer. You have to have a computer in order to do this, obviously. I have a iMac desktop, uh, 4K, Retina 4K, 21 and a half inch, 2017 model. It's really nice, it's pretty expensive. Uh, you don't have to start out with this, obviously. You could find a cheaper laptop, maybe a MacBook. Uh, you could check out Facebook Marketplace. They definitely have a lot of deals. There's always deals on computers on there. I've bought and sold a few computers off of there, so it really works well. So check that out. Second thing you need is a DAW. stands for Digital Audio Workstation. It's where you're going to be recording, mixing, mastering all of your music into full-blown songs. Uh, you could use GarageBand, there's Logic Pro X, Pro Tools, um, Ableton Live, just to name a few. I like to use Logic because it's easy for my mind to wrap around it, um, user-friendly, and uh, I just like it all, all around. It's just a great... Logic is only $65 now on Amazon, and I can't believe it, but it really is. I've double-checked uh, many times to make sure that it actually was really the actual uh, software that was for $65, and apparently it is, and it's crazy. And I'm definitely going to leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. And now you're definitely going to need a microphone. I have this MXL770 condenser mic it's really nice uh, it does well for recording vocals and it's only seventy two dollars on Amazon also you can check out this SM57 cardioid dynamic mic it's great goo rate for recording guitars and it's only a hundred dollars on Amazon. Okay, the fourth thing that you need is an audio interface this is how you're gonna be recording your guitars bass vocals uh, and whatever else that you need to record. I have this one right here, the Scarlet 2i2 Focusrite. It's got two channels. You could record yourself singing and playing at the same time. You could have two people recording at the same time or two amps recording one guitar track at the same time. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's easy to use. All you do is plug in the uh, USB into the back of the port and then into the back of your computer. And it comes with Ableton Live Lite, uh, Pro Tools first, um, Addictive Keys. Alright, so the third thing is studio monitors, which uh, you definitely will need eventually down the road. However, you don't have to have them starting out. Uh, just having a decent pair of headphones would be uh, a better way to go if, as a beginner because it's uh, easier to, to understand how things sound without having room frequencies or vibrations or tones bouncing off the walls in weird ways that, that make you think that you're hearing one thing a certain way when in reality it's not that way. So using headphones to start out to get the feel of how things sound uh, would be a better route to go as a beginner. And... I use a Sony Dynamic headphones. They're really nice. They're only like 80 bucks. So if you want, you can check those out. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I'm going to leave links to all the gear and products that I use in the description below this video. And remember that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on equipment just to get good sounding music. Uh, especially when you're beginning, start small and uh, go from there. And, um, but don't skimp on buying equipment, buy something that's worth, you know, it's going to, it's going to get the job done. It's going to do what you need it to do. And it's also going to last you for a few years. So until next time, it's been Jared with Audio Engine Productions and like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.